RVP Photography. It is great to have you with us today. Thank you to everyone who have watched my last video, Photographing Tamworth in Sepia. A lot of people contacted us saying they really enjoyed it and they wanted to see more. In a later video we have decided to make a part 2 looking at more historical buildings in Tamworth. Please subscribe down below and be amongst the first to get notified when it's ready. I would just like to say hello to Yusuf. On holiday in Turkey we met someone who watches my videos. Here's a quick clip. Here we are on holiday and this is my friend Yusuf. Hi to the camera. Hi. Nice to meet you and your family, Yusuf. I hope everyone's very well. Following my last episode, I found out that my school, William McGregor, had nominated me for an award with the Arthur Terry Learning Partnership for my photography and my YouTube videos. Imagine my surprise, therefore, to attend an awards ceremony and to be presented with this trophy for creativity. For me photography and these videos are a lot of fun and so to get an award like this is amazing. I would like to thank both the Arthur Terry Learning Partnership for the award and also my school for nominating me. This award means a lot to me. So that brings us on today's video. My mum and dad wanted to treat me for getting the award and asked me what I would like to do. And there was only one thing I could really think of and that was to see a Lamborghini. I love Lamborghinis and have been reading all about them and watching lots of YouTube videos to learn a lot more about them. My dad contacted a few people and guess what, I am so excited. Today we have been invited to Lamborghini Birmingham. My dad also contacted James Mann who is one of the world's leading car and motorcycle photographers and told him about my visit to Lamborghini. He very kindly sent me a signed copy of his latest book, How to Photograph Cars. I'm really enjoying reading it. Thank you so much for that, Mr. Man. The book is wonderful and I'm learning a lot from it. Prior to visiting Lamborghini, James Mann also gave me the following five tips. 1. Use a tripod for shutter speeds under 1 60th of a second. 2. Why not try to shoot lower or higher to get a more interesting perspective? 3. Connect people with cars when photographing them together. 4. Pay attention to your background when composing your image. Simple is the best. 5. Try not to place your subject in the centre of the frame. The rule of thirds works well for cars. For those who have not heard about the rule of thirds, in photography it is to do with how your photo is composed. You may have seen that in the viewfinder some cameras have two lines going down and two lines going across. This is to do with the rule of thirds and it creates four hot spots where the lines cross here, here, here and here. The idea is to place a subject you are photographing on one or more of these hot spots to try and create a more interesting photo instead of having the subject right in the middle. Here is an example of a photo I took at the Tamworth Brewery that uses the rule of thirds. The main subject is to the right on the hot spot rather than in the middle. I'm going to do my best to try to use all the top tips when I take my photo. Okay, I can't wait anymore. Dad, can you set the coordinates? Yeah. There you go. Lamborghini Birmingham, here we come. Oh, here we are at Lamborghini. I 
inside. Here we are at Lamborghini Birmingham. Look at all of these wonderful cars. the whole car and a, and a little bit of zoom. I am also going to use a speed light 430 EX flash gun on the top. That will help us to control the light in here. Look at all these Lamborghinis. So I'm going to do a low down shot. Look at look how big the exhaust are on that Lamborghini is mm It's nice, isn't it? Mm. Oh, oh, yes, thank you. <laughs> what do you think? It's, it's just amazing. Is it? Is it your favourite car? Uh, one of them. What's your favourite car oh, then? Well, the, it's my favourite. Well, my favourite's Lamborghini, but then this is one of my favourite sorts. And what is your actual favourite? Uh, a hurricane. Is it? Yeah. Why? Uh, this know. is way cooler. The doors go up and everything. I, I think it's this one. You look very smart. Thank you. I have to say. Where are you going today to look so smart? Uh, Just here. <laughs> you look way smarter than most of the boys that work here. <laughs> Where are you telling that though? Chris is going to be really jealous and you're right with it actually. Yeah, yeah. You have to show him the chocolate. Just very jealous of you. This little light. Just yeah. Just thank you. You're very smart. Harvey, you dressed up like a drink. Orange juice or something. Yes, please. Yeah, yeah. I never ever thought that I was going to sit in a Lamborghini. Do you like it? I love it. I love it. These are so soft. This one is a Lamborghini Adventador and this one is probably my favourite because it's orange and orange is my favourite colour and if you come inside it has the orange stitching and cross and on the roof it also has orange I just love it this one and if you come in a bit more you can see the Are we doing you okay? Yes thank you Good if you've got any questions, then uh, let us know. We hope we can answer them for you. Yes. Oh, um, I was just thinking of one. And um, why is it a white light? What's it, anyone? Is it a bull? It's there? a bull. Yeah, I thought it yeah, was. Yeah, so 
the, the owner of Lamborghini was a, a chap, or the creator of Lamborghini was a guy called Fabrizio Lamborghini. Yeah, I thought he was a bull. So he was a huge bullfighting fan. Oh. But at the same time, he was also a tourist, so his star sign was a bull. Yeah. So that's okay. why he used a bull. And that's why a lot of his cars are named after bulls, or famous fighting bulls. Oh. Or different, so the Espada is the uh, sword that's used in bullfighting. Um, the Murcielago guy was a bull. Uh, the Aventador was a famous bull. Hurricane was a famous bull. So they're different names of bulls. And but only one car wasn't a bull. But, um, was it the yours? Ah no, the Kuntash. I've never heard of that one. Yeah, so the Kuntash was a local dialect, a Piedmontese dialect, which means wag, or like. Yeah, it means whack, let's say, which is a nice word. <laughs> um, so there you go, so that was Kutash, right? I love this one, I love the orange ginger It's lovely, isn't it? So that's called an S interior trim, so that has a little flash of orange through the seats and then it has the, uh, the orange stitching with the Alcantara in the middle. It's beautiful. of this adventure. Oh wow, I love this one. I mean, look at the colour. Look at the red. It's so shiny. Let's take a load out. What's this car, Harry? This one is a Lamborghini Urus. It's big, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Harvey, it's in this guy over here. Got a painter. Oh, wow. Not on there. Wow. Wow. Wait, it's actually that silver. Not nice. You can see cars being built. Look how big the brakes are. Because I just looked at that and then I didn't realise that. There you go. Oh, thank yeah. you. You're very welcome. Thank you. Wow. If any of you know what this car is, comment down below. Ooh, this is so nice. You're speechless, aren't you? I am. You're always talking. Oh, oh, look at this. Look at this. They have a lever for the different modes. They have Strada. Sport, Corsa, and they have all other three awesome modes. Look, Lamborghini logo. This is so cool. <gasps> Look, Lamborghini. Okay, this is just this is just so cool. <gasps> Look at Look at this wonderful painting. Wow, that's nice, isn't it? That's nice. What are you doing, Dad? <sighs> Let's try and take a photo using the rule two thirds. Now I'll we'll use the other half and that car. Look at 
Dad, you can see the engine slightly. I need to be 12. I just saw be 12. I've heard people say, like, they don't do this colour yet and they don't do that colour, so when did it like come out? Okay, so the car was first announced in 2013, and oh. that's when they announced they were going to build it, and then we had to make a new factory and uh, make uh, to, to build the car in. So the car, I think, we're well, yeah, 19, we had a full year of 18, end of 2017. So we had a full year of, uh, half a year of 2018, and then we've got a full year of 2019. But the, the new paint factory has just been opened, and we'll open in September. So from production, February, March next year onwards, we should have three yeah. new colours. So we should have a green yeah. and an orange as well. Oh, I love the green. All right. Yeah. Let me go see if I can find you something, all right? Thank you. Thank you for letting me come down. It was a pleasure, all right? Really Thank good you. to meet you. And as I say, you're welcome to come down anytime. Thank you. All right? Yes, I'll do. Thank you. No problem at all. Anytime you want to come down here, just give us a shout. We'll make sure we've got uh, an available showroom for you and some cars for you to picture. Thank you. All right? Great Thank meeting you. Thank you. No problem. <laughs> Are you going to use a teleporter? No, I'm taking a Lambo. See you later, Dad. Today. It was a good, really good day. Was, it, it was brilliant. It was. I enjoyed it. Really was. Yeah. I hope you like these photos, and we try to use the five tips that James Mann gave us. Lamborghini Birmingham said these look fantastic. James Mann said, wow, great pics. Shooting inside is always tricky as you have to deal with mixed lighting, but it seems as though he has dealt with that in these images. Great photography. Keep at it. I'm so glad they like them. And thank you, Lamborghini, for making thank my you. dream thank come you. true. Very good. And thank you, James Mann, for the superb top five tips in the book. The book. And thank you, Lamborghini, for the book. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. So this one, we've got, like, a nice little booklet about Lamborghini. This one 
is my used to be favourite, the Huracan. And then we've got another little fact book about Lamborghini. The history of it, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then we've got the family Lamborghini, the That's yours. That's one I like the best. Is it? Mm. I wouldn't mind it. I won't say no to any of them. So what's your favourite Lamborghini now? Oh. you kept changing all the time, didn't you? Yeah. The Huracan, the... The Euros, the, the, the Euros, yeah. So what is it now? Um, I think I'd probably maybe go for the Aventador. Mm, that's nice. Mm, it is. Okay. I can imagine you in a Lamborghini, Harvey. Yeah. Mm. I may, yeah. Mind mm. the one you got is a bit small. I think you need a bigger one now, isn't <laughs> it? a bit. Mm. <laughs> well, yeah. But I saw one for 249000 Maybe Dad can lend me some money. I can lend you £2.49. Oh, that's a joke of the Aww. day. <laughs> Can you remember when Harvey got his first Lamborghini? Oh yeah, when he was two years old. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Look what Santa's left for you. Huh? Oh, what is it, Harvey? Yeah. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed as much as we did making yeah, it. Yeah. Also, subscribe down below. Or if you want to see some more photos, go to harveyp.com. Yeah. Or if you want to see some more videos, go to harveyp.uk. Bye. Bye.